The man they call El Maestro, Juan Fangio, is the finest racing driver on any track anywhere. Winner of five Formula One World Championships since 1951, the 46-year-old Argentinian is adored by millions. So it's a great coup for the Cuban dictator, President Batista, when Fangio agrees to race in the 1958 Cuban Grand Prix in Havana. It's no surprise when Fangio qualifies in pole position. Yet by the time of the race, Fangio has disappeared. Incredibly, he's been kidnapped at gunpoint by Cuban rebels, disciples of Fidel Castro, who've captured the great racing star to draw attention to Batista's corrupt regime. The Grand Prix starts without Fangio, who is still held by his kidnappers. Five laps of the race are completed, and the English driver Sterling Moss is leading, when suddenly, disaster. A Cuban driver hits an oil slick and spins off the track at 100 miles an hour. There's no protection for spectators. Seven are killed and more than 40 injured. The race is stopped and Moss declared the winner. Fangio is released after the race unharmed and though shocked by the carnage on the track, he refuses to identify his kidnappers.